Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and we continue with the decade in Windows operating systems. So this is video number three and the last part in our series of how many Windows versions were there between 2010 and 2020 as we are about to end the decade. We talked about Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1 and now we are at Windows 10. That was the last operating system released for the decade. It is a very different operating system than what we are used to in the way that Microsoft decided to uh, distribute this version. So it goes way back at a Microsoft Worldwide Partner Conference in 2011 when Andrew Lee, the chief of Microsoft Mobile Technologies, Andrew Lees, said that the company intended to have a single Windows operating system for everything. And at that time, everything included something that we call a phone, because Microsoft was dabbling in phones. So as time went on, we learned in 2013 that something called Threshold was being developed at Microsoft. We didn't exactly know when we would have this and of course time continued and something happened something changed first of all the way that we test windows at that time microsoft sent away a lot of engineers um, from microsoft a lot of programmers decided to slim down and as they slimmed down one of the things that they actually did also as they slim down is to do something new called the Windows Insider program. So it's way back in October of 2014 that Microsoft announced to the world, hey, you want to be a insider? You want to test the next version of Windows? Why not join in? And it was a pretty successful thing. And it was a very clever thing also at the same time. Why not ask enthusiasts that are always on the verge of seeing new things on their computers to test Windows 10? So the Windows Insider program started. So of course, the Windows Insider program is at five years in, uh, since October. And uh, that was something new. And I remember joining the first day, October 1st, 2014, to the Windows Insider program. And I had, at the time, started doing, of course, Windows videos. And uh, that led to the announcement and release on July 29th of 2015 of Windows 10, the new operating system from Microsoft. There was a lot of uh, things that people were worried about because Microsoft decided to start talking about the operating system as Windows as a service. Of course, talking about Windows as a service for a lot of people meant, oh, so this is going to be a subscription Windows. They're going to do like they're doing with Office. And a lot of people were scared and said, well, yeah, you know, it's going to be free, but um, the first year, but then we're going to have to pay. And, and I remember back then doing videos and saying, no, you'll never have to pay. Microsoft is not doing that. And I still had a lot of people telling me, yeah, we're going to pay soon. We're going to pay. Well, we're going to be five years next year. We still ain't, still ain't paying, including those that upgraded for free. That was always that was also something new. Every Windows operating system uh, was, of course, charged at a certain price. You had to pay to upgrade to the new version if you um, had an older version and wanted to have the latest Windows. There was one deal with Windows 7 that brought down the price a lot. But apart from that, really, there was not much of any specials. But Microsoft surprised everybody by telling them, hey, if you're on Windows 7, we're going to offer a free upgrade for one year. And of course, that first year, anybody on Windows 7 could just click the update button on the Microsoft website and get the newest version of Windows 10 for free 
and it was quite popular. A lot of people did go to that free version. As of today, you still can get it free if you have a valid Windows key. If you have a Windows 7 or Windows 8 key that is valid, you can still upgrade for free. You never close that loophole. We don't expect that loophole to close down either because they just want to have you on Windows 10 and that's it. Windows 10, Windows as a service, that's something new. An evolving operating system. And also mentioned in 2015 of this is the last version of Windows. We're just going to actually improve it over time. And it came with a few little things that people liked. It came especially with something people liked. The return of the start menu and the start button. Now, finally, people on Windows 8 said, yeah, they're going back. They had a mix, you know, a mix of tiles from Windows 8 and a mix of the old Windows 7 start style menu a little bit. And um, with the start menu also, they introduced a new browser, Microsoft Edge, that unfortunately was unfinished when Windows 10 started in July of 2015 and never really caught on. Now there's new stuff happening, but you know. They also introduced something that was already in the Windows 8 sphere, which was a Microsoft Store for apps. And the Microsoft Store is where they wanted us to get our apps, programs, and everything. That also never really succeeded that much. But we could get apps in the Microsoft Store, and that was a big thing. They had revised a system called the Windows uh, Universal Windows Platform, UW, UWP, never caught on also. System security was to be really improved and made so much better and so on. And, you know, as of that, there's a lot of things that are actually we got to give credit to Microsoft. And security is one of them. It's a, a very uh, secure system at its basics. But also we got to give credit for another thing. Of all Windows versions, this was the easiest to install. It had a problem that still today is plaguing a lot of users. Two updates a year. Major updates. They are reinstalls of Windows twice a year. That probably gives Windows 10 a lot of that hate that people have. They're like looking at it and they're saying, yeah, you know what? This is, um, this is really, really not um, interesting to have these big updates. And still today, it's a controversy, of course. It introduced DirectX 12 for gaming and uh, trying to help out out there in the gaming and so on. So, you know, it had a lot of little things happening in, uh, in there. So, uh, what are the versions up to now of Windows 10? So, the first version was 15.07. That was the version released on July 29th, 2015. It was followed by a quick update called the November update, and that was version 15.11, and it was released on November 10th, 2015. Then they had the anniversary update that was released on August 2nd, 2016. That was version 16.07. They then had the creators update, 17.03 and April 5th, 2017. And the Fall Creators Update on 1709, October 17th, 2017. Then we moved on to 1803, the April 2018 update, where everybody is being pushed right now to the latest versions. At April 30th, 2018, it was released. And 1809, which was the October 2018 update, released November 13th, 2018. Now, we are at the May 2019 update that was released May 21st, 2019. That is where a lot of people are right now. And uh, that code name has changed at change from Redstone, where they were using Redstone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to version numbers that indicate when it's released, first or second half of the year. So 19H1. On November 12th, that's a month, a little more than a month ago, we had the November 2019 update release. That was 19H2, or version 1909. 
And of course, as we look into the future, 20H1 to be announced at some point with a name and date. And uh, that's version 2004. And today we learned that 20H2 is actually being uh, released for fast ring. So, you know, we're going on and continuing with Windows operating systems. Lots of rumors, lots of people still talking about Windows 11, Windows 12, and so on. Don't think about it. It's not happening. But still, a lot of people are thinking that it is something happening. And Windows 10, you know, it's uh, what we have. It's reaching almost, it's probably very close right now to a billion PCs and devices running it. That is also something that is new in the way that they announce it because before they would announce the number of license sold. But the number of license is not the number of computers. Now they are actually announcing the devices running Windows 10. And we are, the last number, official number is 900 million, but we are close to that 1 billion, that's for sure. And it's going to be interesting to see the future of this operating system. And I think 2020, we're in for a lot of surprises. As we start a new decade of Windows operating system, will we be doing this on this channel in 2029? Just as we go into 2030, will I have a decade of Windows again? And will it be just Windows 10 all the way? This is something that we have no idea. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.